Meet CL1, the first computer powered by real human brain cells. This groundbreaking technology is making headlines for its potential to revolutionize computing as we know it. Unlike traditional processors made of silicon, CL1 leverages biological neurons, bringing us one step closer to machines that think and learn like humans. But how does it work, and what does it mean for the future of AI? What makes CL1 even more remarkable is that it's not just a proof of concept, it's a working model demonstrating how living neurons can be harnessed for computing tasks. If this technology advances, it could surpass traditional AI, not by brute force calculations, but by mimicking the way our own minds process and adapt to information. The possibilities are limitless, but so are the ethical concerns. The concept of merging biology with technology isn't new. Scientists have long experimented with brain-computer interfaces, BCIs, allowing direct communication between the human mind and machines. From Elon Musk's Neuralink to medical advancements in neuroprosthetics, the fusion of biology and technology has evolved rapidly. However, CL1 takes this a step further by using real brain cells as computational units, setting a new milestone in the field of biocomputing. Historically, AI development has relied on neural networks, software models inspired by the brain structure, but these have always been artificial constructs. With CL1, for the first time, we have an actual biological neural network operating within a computer system. This breakthrough could redefine what we mean by intelligence and machines and how we interact with them in the future. Moreover, the implications of using biological matter in computing go beyond just processing power. The ability of neurons to form new connections and rewire themselves dynamically means that CL1 could eventually surpass static machine learning models, leading to an entirely new class of AI that grows and evolves like a biological brain. This opens the door to computing systems that do not require constant updates or training, but instead develop intuitively over time. CL1 is built using a network of lab-grown neurons, cultivated to interact and process information, much like a biological brain. Unlike conventional computers that rely on binary logic, zeros and ones, CL1 can adapt, learn, and even reorganize its pathways over time, much like human cognition. The research behind CL1 comes from a team of neuroscientists and engineers who developed a process to integrate neurons with advanced computing interfaces. Using cutting-edge bioengineering techniques, they've managed to create a system where living cells interact with electrical signals, forming a biological processor. Key differences between CL1 and traditional computers include Adaptive learning Unlike rigid AI algorithms, CL1 learns in a way that mimics human brain plasticity. Traditional AI models require vast amounts of labeled data and predefined rules, whereas CL1 has the potential to self-organize and adjust in real time, making it more efficient in dynamic environments. Energy efficiency. Biological neurons require far less energy than traditional semiconductor-based processors. The human brain consumes only about 20 watts of power, less than a typical light bulb, while performing incredibly complex tasks. If scaled up, CL1 could lead to computers that are exponentially more power efficient than anything available today. Scalability challenges. Growing and maintaining living cells requires special conditions, posing a challenge for large-scale applications. Unlike silicon chips, which can be mass-produced, biological computing systems require precise environmental control to keep neurons alive and functional. CL1's applications could extend far beyond traditional computing. It could revolutionize fields like artificial intelligence, AI systems that evolve organically, learning and adapting without the need for constant reprogramming, Neuroscience research, offering insights into brain function and neurological disorders by studying how these biological networks process information. Medical diagnostics, potentially leading to breakthroughs in treating brain-related conditions by simulating how neurons react to various stimuli. Advanced robotics, 
machines that learn in real time and make decisions based on evolving sensory inputs, making them more autonomous and adaptable in complex environments. Cybersecurity and Encryption the unpredictable nature of a biological processing unit could make it extremely difficult for traditional hacking methods to compromise security systems, leading to a new era of advanced cybersecurity. The implications of CL1 are staggering. In artificial intelligence, it could lead to truly autonomous systems that learn and evolve beyond pre-programmed algorithms. In neuroscience, it opens doors for better understanding human cognition and treating neurological disorders. However, ethical concerns arise. Should we be creating computers with biological intelligence? If a machine learns like a human, does it have rights? Furthermore, the impact on the tech industry could be profound. Companies investing in AI and semiconductor technology might need to rethink their strategies if biological computing proves to be a viable alternative to silicon chips. There's also the question of control. Who governs a technology that is fundamentally alive? With AI, programmers can set limits and rules, but a biological system capable of learning on its own introduces unpredictable variables. If CL1 and future biocomputers continue to evolve, will we still be able to control them, or will they develop beyond our comprehension? Additionally, the rise of biological computing raises significant ethical questions. Could a system like CL1 develop self-awareness over time? If it does, what responsibilities do we have toward it? Could these machines one day require rights and legal protection similar to those afforded to living beings? Dr. James Reynolds, a neuroscientist working on CL1, states, This technology represents a paradigm shift in computing. We're no longer just mimicking the brain. We're using actual living neurons to compute. Meanwhile, technicist Dr. Lisa Patel warns, The more we integrate living cells into machines, the more we need to consider ethical boundaries. Where do we draw the line between computing and consciousness? I researcher Dr. Mark Liu adds, If C1 succeeds, it could push AI decades ahead of schedule, but we must be careful. The implications of machines that can truly think are unpredictable. Cybersecurity expert Dr. Rachel Ungwain adds another perspective. A system like CL1 could make digital security unbreakable due to its unpredictability, but at the same time, it could also develop vulnerabilities we don't yet understand. CL1 marks a new frontier in technology, blending biology and computing in ways never before imagined. Whether it leads to a revolution in AI or raises new ethical dilemmas, one thing is certain, it's a development that will shape the future of technology and human-machine interaction. If biocomputing continues to develop, it could spell the end of the silicon era and the dawn of a new age where computers are not just programmed, but grown. But with that power comes responsibility. Are we prepared for the consequences of machines that might one day think for themselves? Could this be the start of an entirely new paradigm where machines evolve like organisms, adapting to their environments in ways never before possible? And if so, what does that mean for humanity's role as the dominant intelligence on the planet? What do you think about CL1? Could biological computing be the future, or are we venturing into dangerous territory? Share your thoughts in the comments. Remember to like and subscribe for more AI and tech videos.